that last word was meant to be you. It's coming for you. So originally I didn't want to do three pieces, but the nature of art compels it to explain more should you want to. I do these video diaries for my own personal references and notes. It is one of the most important things that I will tell you. If you are keeping track of your memories, it's like if something, you don't remember something, it never happened for you, right? Or it left some sort of indelible or agonizing effect, but you'd rather know, you'd rather be aware of the cause and the effect. Now, I will talk more about the inspiration behind Glitch Piano. And pardon, I do realize that in the course of these videos, it's very talky. It's me going on a YouTube rant, to use that term again. But I have put some previews out there, as always, at yes.torley.com, or simply torley.com is where it will appear, this Glitch Piano. And maybe by the time you see or hear this, and or hear this, and slash or, then it will be in the past, but sending a message. You want your future self, or your present self even, to thank your past self and say, hey, thanks for doing the right things for me. And in learning these processes, as I was mentioning, even if you aren't an audio geek, there's lots of lovely melody. I beloved, beloved, is that even, it is now. I, I highly beloved crafting memorable melodies I love rich orchestration, sometimes stripping it down to minimals. I love to have a sound example that I can play for you, and then after you've heard it, I can easier point out things. Otherwise, there is there is always gonna be interpretation involved, of course, with art. But art, three, 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 four quotation marks. What, or five, what is that? A claw quotation mark like that. <laughs> but I love to to have that sort of thing where it's rich, it's multimedia. It's very curious to me now that I consider music reviews without a sample largely useless. Now, when there was only paper, when we were restricted bandwidth wise to that, then it would have made more sense. However, upon the web and increasing fatness of our pipes, shall we say, that it's very, very simple to include a clip or the artist themselves has already uploaded it and we can embed it and point out this is the song we're talking about. Otherwise, it all gets a little bit Frank Zappa from there. And no, that's not Cockney rhyming slang as much as I wish it was. So in orating these things to myself internally, and as I sit at the keyboards. And yes, as some of you have gathered, you know what that is. It helps to add expression. A piano traditionally is not blown through unless it is a keyboard instrument with such a faculty. Is it a harmonium? It is very fascinating to think of new names for instruments, to think about the parallel worlds and alternate realities, to consider time travel, to consider the nostalgia of a warm, hazy youth, but memories which are mostly, yet not entirely remembered, and filling them in. Perhaps selectively it is most comfortable, because that entitles you in some gregarious way to believing, wow, oh I know most of what happened, and it's even better because these details, well I can never really be sure, but I feel about that way now. It's like how your parents will see things when you were a kid very differently. Like, even if you were a child, when I was a child, I often felt and thought, this is the stereotypical thing they will say of some teenagers, or many teenagers, that you feel invincible against the world. I didn't feel quite like that, but I knew in many times, this is what I wanna do with my life. So, as a spring back to what I was saying in the previous two segments, I knew I wanted to get out of classical music into electronic music. And what I failed to realize at the time is I was running away from some problems because there are snobs wherever you go. There are the techno snobs. There are people, unfortunately, who will be quite vicious and make fun of you and they will crimp your individualism, which is the greatest thing you can do for yourself, really. It's really that superlative to express yourself and as a result I hear and I don't listen to a lot of it but I do hear there are tracks that sound so derivative the artist's true voice is not represented there they sound too much like someone else they don't necessarily want to say that 
out loud because it's an admission of weakness in some ways, which is tougher in shame-based cultures, but they will nonetheless make something very samey. Instead of exploring out there, they don't have enough of a support network. So what I would like to see in more artistry in the future is more support networks to explore music that is not necessarily ever going to fit in any single genre. The best way to identify it is by the name of what the artist is called and what they choose to identify the piece or song, piece song as. And that's what I find is useful with mine. But nonetheless, labels, they are very, very convenient for accessibility. In my case, with the glitch piano, that is precisely what I think. Well, it's got piano, obviously, it's very piano-centric, so piano is a focus part of it, focal point. Glitch, because there are different kinds of edits, there are experimental noise, microtonal imbalances, and other wibbly-wobbly fun things, little bits and pieces like that. And this is the kind of thing which I am honored to talk to you about, because I couldn't get across in text alone, but here you see me, I am animated, not quite as in person, where you can see my colorful shirt. But nonetheless, it is, it is quite the trip that we can do this. So in growing up, I, I, I look at how bandwidth has increased over the years. I remember when 160 by 120, the postage stamp was a standard for a quick time video. Now we have HD on the web. We have so many technologies accelerating. So Glitch Piano in its own way, for me anyway, is a commentary on that about taking that old part of my youth taking when I, yes, when I played, I have to stop doing that, when I played the classical piano and practiced so much and agonized about the torture and suffering that came with that, and of course some good traits, persistence, did come with that, however, there's been a lot of baggage since then. It's kind of like in some of these role-playing games, you have these soldiers who were so scarred by their experience that they are designed, definite, designated killing machines and they cannot think of so much else. They have a trouble with vulnerability and sharing their emotions, which is a hyperbolic way of reflecting masculinity in the main world. Now, I am not so interested in getting to long philosophical discussions. I would rather raise a beat and drop a bass line and jam. Of course, talk it helps me to get it out. And by telling you this, I am teaching myself more about what it means why I got into this. After the dream journals, it was a very, very curious thing, and there are more coming. There is at least a third one and a fourth one. Stay tuned with the dream journals, in case you are an avid fan of those. I, I do dearly thank you. The dream journals for me a fascinating point of many, many travels and thinking about, wow, this is such a diversity. This is such a range. I can reach out like rainbows and do whatever with my dreams of course that's what inspired me without the dreams there is no dream journal but with glitch piano it was the opposite it's more it's more i wouldn't say limited in a crimp way but i did put parameters glitch and piano right within certain tracks there is a lot of colors still but i think you'll get that sense another difference is a track numbering labeling ordering is going to be different because in the dream journals i have released them in the order in which they were composed chronologically or reverse i think if it starts at the 100 and goes back down but in the glitch piano they are going to be selected, especially by my lovely wife, Ravenel. And so you're going to hear the fruits of that. Haven't decided on all that yet. And another reason, too, why I have albums, which are a lot longer than, say, a conventional 10, 15, even 20 song, but typically an hour, around an hour, hour, right, is because several things. I like the numbering system, for one, helped me keep track. It's a, it is really an homage to the opus, classical opus. And in addition to that, this is how they will make music, how I see it when I travel over to these other realities. And that's what they do, and I bring them back to Le Hotel Pushbon, room 4444 on the 44th floor in the white room. This is where I dissect the Aurelics, the Aurelic Stalker, which is, yes, a reference to, if you guessed it, you've got it, you know where I'm at. So by putting these references together, I love it when I can have two or three or four or more obscure things, and you get it because you've had some of the same background, you resonate, and you feel similarly about what I'm creating. 
and that is the junction point, which makes it all all very blessed and bountiful. So those kind of connections, what I have always been about, and over time refining and growing, you got to get the crap out of you <laughs> in the cred. You gotta you gotta you gotta write, sit down, write, paint, compose, and put it together. And sometimes it's just a matter of it's not literally crap. It's just reconfigured. It's kind of like IKEA furniture. There are ways you can hack IKEA furniture and make it more beautiful than it was originally designed in the manual. And there's some ways you can really bungle it up. But in any case, these mistakes by far and large are non-fatal. So you've got to go for it. And that's what I'm going for with Glitch Piano.